You know, it's very interesting, right? Because in our field of immunology, you can trace the origins back to, what, 229 years ago with Edward Jenner, who did this remarkable experiment of uh, uh, giving cowpox to a small boy, James Phipps, and then a few weeks later, infecting this boy deliberately. Never with be small done pox. these it, days. It couldn't <laughs> be approved by RB, right? So in a way, in retrospect, you could say that was the trigger for all of immunology as we know it. But what happened uh, in the intervening decades is that people developed these amazing tools, animal models, such like inbred strains of mice and so on. And these tools were really very, very helpful and useful in providing the foundational knowledge of immunology, the mechanistic basis of the immune system. I mean, discovery of T cells, B cells, dendritic cells, all of that happened in animal models. And so we have so much to be thankful for, for the pioneers who really established these animal models and did such pioneering work. Mm -hmm.